defense. If you, if you went to one of your editors and said, I've got a guy who can do the very thing they've been doing over in Britain, what would have happened? The editor would have said, and what do you think about that? I said, well, now let's do it. Okay, let's start with this. I got a better idea. Give me your press card. Give me your keys. Go down the, blo the hall and get your check and never come back. They would have kicked these guys out, which is the thing that um, is what repels me about it, because I know great British newsmen who would never dream of doing that, and Irish news pen and, and men in Dublin and, and uh, Belfast. So when you, they would never do that. So when you think of Rupert Murdoch being the guy in charge of these people, and that he's in charge of papers here, what do you think? Well, I, he, if he turned a blind eye to it, if he said, I don't care how they got it, we got it. Um, then he has to examine his own conscience because he was creating a, a culture of corruption um, and not petty com corruption, not getting two tickets for a ball game or something. Major corruption. And he, ha he should be thinking about what he did to the craft of journalism itself. You and I know people who died practicing this profession, as imperfect as it is, they died. They were killed and shot and burned in some cases. And to do this and call yourself by the same name that they called themselves with, those heroic people who went to the bad parts of the world, I think that's an outrage, that part of it. Uh, whether I don't know, to be truthful, how much Murdoch would know or his son uh, or his editor, but I'm sure if they were spending money on corruptos, somebody knew and somebody high up. I've worked at papers where I couldn't get $50 to go to Philadelphia without the approval of an editor. Yeah, yeah, everybody watches paper. the money very closely. Yeah. Do you expect to see real fallout here from this scandal? Uh, you know, I worry about the post. I worry about it because it gave me my life. I got walked into a city room in 1960 for the first time and I had the rest of my life ahead of me. I wanted to live. I wanted to outlive me. I Do wanted... you think it's in danger? It could be because it's such a minor footnote to these immense billion dollar, too big to fail uh, empire that if that if it took the sacrifice of that it could it could if that happens uh, I'd be the one of the people weeping because uh, I know people who work there who are terrific journalists I know people who worked there when I was a kid who uh, if they're not in heaven I ain't gone uh, I want to I wanted to live so I hope this thing with all the smarmy stuff that was going on in England doesn't contaminate all of it.